Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Adam Huber. He's the Allen County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Joanna. How are you this morning? Adam, I'm doing well, but we're going to talk about a, a serious topic today, and that's that's ATV safety. And, you know, the weather's nice, and we want to get out and enjoy nature and ride trails and those type of things, and we certainly right. want to do that. But there are some safety things that we need to consider. Yeah, that's right. You know, you know, just like you mentioned, you know, we're about to be in the fall months of the year, and everybody likes to get out and, and ride ride ATVs and, and do all the fun things. Um, but, you know, it is a pretty serious thing that we need to think about when we're, you know, when we're talking about riding an ATV. Um, according to the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission, Kentucky ranks number five in the United States for ATV accidents. A lot, a lot of that has to do with our terrain. There's a few counties out there, like five counties in the eastern part of Kentucky that are the, the top ranking counties in the state of Kentucky, mainly due to you know, the hilly terrain, the mountainous terrain that's out there. Um, that's part, that's only part of it now. Um, the other part of that would be, you know, the safety part of it. Um, from 1982 to 2017, this is from the United States Commission Product Safety uh, Information. There have been 754 ATV deaths and 62 of those have happened since 2015 to 2017. So that, that just goes to show you, you know, we have a lot of ATV accidents, you know, each year. Um, and we need to be mindful of that and then, you know, practice good safety habits. Um, and the way that we do that is first we need to, we need to have proper training. Um, there are some training uh, courses that you can take. Um, actually, the state of Kentucky recommends atvsafety.org. You go on that website and they actually have training courses that you can take. So if you've never really grew up around ATVs, you know, not really done a lot with them and you want to get one, um, this would be a good place to start. You know, once you've taken that course, um, you need to get a, get a helmet, safety equipment. The helmet that you need to get has to be DOT approved, Department of Transportation approved. Um, and I think they all have stickers on them that, that have that emblem on there. Safety goggles, uh, safety boots, you know, they make boots that you can wear just for ATV riding. Um, they make clothing that you that you can wear that's protective uh, for ATV riding. Just do some research on that. Just make sure that you know, just like anything, that the equipment that you're getting, you know, fits you, um, fits your body correctly. Another thing would be before you even start your four wheeler, your ATV up would be to uh, inspect the ATV. So you want to make sure your tire pressure is 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 up correctly. You know, check your oil, check all the things like that. Um, if you're going to be uh, riding close to dusk or dark, make sure that your lights are working. Make sure everything that is, you know on the ATV is working properly. A lot of these, a lot of these incidents happen sometimes close to home. You know, if we're right. out, we're just doing some chores or different things like that. And a lot of times, it probably doesn't even cross our mind to um, wear a helmet because you know we're just going really close. But the way that vehicle is made. Um, a lot of times if it's, if it's slick, we mentioned terrain, if we run over something or, or going at excessive speed, accidents can happen. And so just, it's better to be safe than sorry. So even if you're just going on a short trip, that helmet, because head injuries are, are a leading cause of injury and in some fatalities. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's definitely, you know, right. And, you know, uh, a lot of folks, sometimes you may be driving down the road and you see an ATV pass you on the road. That is actually illegal in the state of Kentucky. You're not allowed to ride on the road. Um, the only the only time that you can ride an ATV on the road is for farm use, and it's really just crossing the the highway to get to a property. So, other than that, you're not supposed to be riding on the road, you know, at all. Absolutely, I think that's certainly a good point. Now, Adam, do we have information about ATV safety at the university? Yeah, so you can actually get on the University of Kentucky's website. Um, and, and type in the search bar there, uh, just type in ATV safety, and we have a publication that comes up, and it tells you a, a lot of good safety tips, and it tells you ATV tips, helmet tips, and just uh, like frequently asked questions of what you can do, what you can't do, and things like that. All right, Adam, certainly appreciate the information. If you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. We appreciate you watching and hope you have a great day.